Yep, it's me. I know. You already know that because you can see me. This is video. Um, it's that's new technology video. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm driving over to my parents' house right now because I need to help my dad with something. Um, yeah, so I'm going over there and then I'll, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. That's that's what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of coming home is seeing these girls. Seeing you. Cuckoo. And Luna. Oh, you brought me a toy. You brought me a toy. <laughs> I'm back at home now, and I know what you guys are thinking. We didn't see your dad. We didn't see, you guys didn't see, like, anything. Yeah, I know. Well, I got there to help him. I was actually, it was him and a bunch of producers from a new show he's, working on, he's developing, and they, they shot and everything, so making notes. Stuff that I couldn't um, film. So I didn't do that, uh, but I helped him out with that, went home and everything like that. So I will have another vlog where, uh, you know, my dad was like, oh, let's do another Omega one. So we will be doing that probably this week. So make sure you look out at my, uh, my Twitter for that, because that's, I usually, like, he'll decide sometimes 10 minutes before we do it, when I'm gonna set up, he'll be like, let's go do an Omega right now, when I'm there. Like, okay, great. And I'll tweet out, uh, I'll be like, okay guys, go on Omega if you wanna to talk to us. So I sometimes just do that last minute. Um, yeah, so that, that, you guys could follow me on Twitter to get that, that's just, at Alex Mandel, super easy. Um, I also, I had an idea, because I do some of these things last minute, and you guys aren't all on Twitter and, following me and everything like that. Do, what, how do you guys feel? I'm gonna let you decide if this is a good idea or not. This is totally up to you guys. I'm not trying to push anything. I just want a better way to communicate with you like last minute. How do you guys feel about a potential like mailing list, like email I'm talking about, like an email group? Like I'm gonna create an Alex Mandel or an A-Team group or something like that and you guys, I, I don't put your emails or anything. Don't worry if you've sent me an email, I wouldn't add it to it. You guys could, on, at, on your own accord, add your uh, emails, and that way, whenever I'm gonna do that, I could just send out an email, and on your phones and on everything, you'll get an email saying like, hey, I'm gonna do this, or if I have a question, I could ask you guys, like, what do you wanna see now? And while I'm vlogging, that way I can get instant answers, instant emails, you could talk, everything like that. So that's just an idea to create a mailing list. It's totally up to you guys. I don't wanna hound you on that, so I'm gonna leave that up to you. But if you guys think that's a great idea or a good idea, you remember it's, it's all by choice anyway. So even if you're like, it's a good idea, but I don't want emails, you don't have to opt in for it. So um, let me know what you guys think about that. I know that you guys have seen my uh, closet necessities, and by necessities, I mean the good stuff all of this wonderfulness. Um, yeah, you know, for those of you that don't know, the reason why all of my liquor is in my closet is because at the last place I lived, I built a full bar, and then when I moved, I was like, oh, well, I need a place to keep all this, but I had no, you know, I'm not just gonna set it out on my counter, so for now, just for now, it's in my closet, and I put my clothes somewhere else. So I thought it'd be cool though to show you, you know, these these all go like all the way back and everything like that. They're, you know, my tequilas, my vodkas, my whiskeys and liqueurs and gins and brandies and every stuff like that. Whatever. Anyway, and rums. But it's all divided up, but I haven't shown you guys. I want to show you guys some of these because they're pretty cool. And I know that a lot of you have been asking like, Oh, what's your favorite vodka? What's your favorite tequila? What's your favorite? I'm going to show you some of my favorites now just because I feel like that'll answer your question. Now, I'm going to show you my favorite scotch. And I know that right away, some of you scotch drinkers, you know, you 14-year-old scotch drinkers, um, <laughs> well, you're going to say like, oh, well, I like blah, blah. It's more expensive. Well, scotch is one of those... Um, one of those spirits that's actually like, it's total taste preference. So my favorite is Macallan 12. Now some of you are gonna be like, oh, well I like Macallan 18, it's much better, or 16, or whatever, you know, whatever you like, or different brands. But the thing is, is I think it's good I happen to like 12, because it's cheaper than the other ones. And it's total taste preference. I don't care about being that stuck up like, oh, I want the $200 bottle. No, if it tastes good, 
I like it, and that's what I that's what I like. So that's my favorite scotch, is the Macallan 12, and then I would say my favorite bourbon, and actually Jake turned me on to this, is Woodford Reserve. This is great, and it's actually the um, uh, official bourbon of the Kentucky Derby. So that's kind of cool. The, all these like little cool facts about them but I you know my favorite vodka I share my favorite with the with Jake as well both of our favorites is Kettle One now I know you Grey Goose and Belvedere fans and everything like that are, aren't gonna be happy but Kettle One is great that's my favorite like all around you know you can have the ones that are so pure it tastes like nothing or you can have the ones that are so that are kinda harsh and charcoaly and stuff like that like I think Grey Goose is kinda harsh Especially to shoot, it's a, it's it's a pretty rough shot. Um, Kettle one's kind of that all around goodness. Um, as for tequila, tequila, the killer of the night. This uh, my favorite. Let me just move this around so I don't shatter the bottles. Um, I kind of have like two favorites here. Um, this is definitely my top favorite. This is Don Julio, 1942, with that nice wooden cork on top. Um, this bottle would probably run you about $120 maybe. Um, but if you guys have a chance to try it, definitely try it. Um, and my other favorite would be Classe Azul, which is this one back here. It's cool. It's a ceramic bottle. So it's, and then that, that cap is actually made out of metal. It's not just like a silver or plastic one made of metal. That one's really good. Both of those can pretty much be like just straight drinking it and it goes down so smooth and then there's and then I have these interesting um, these interesting spirits that are like really cool like if I get to the brandies look at this this right here is actually a pear brandy and that is a real pear in there and don't worry it's just a reflection on the bottom but that's a real pear in there, and the way they get this is they hang this on a pear tree, this bottle, with a little pear hanging in here, and they let the pear grow inside so that you can't, it, it acts like full-size pear in this little thing. They let it grow inside, and then they put the, the brandy in to pretty much let it infuse by itself into a, a pear brandy. So that's really cool that they do that. And then I have like awesome things, like this one's from... Um, Bolivia and this one's called Agua but if you see it's coca leaf liqueur which it's made from coca leaves which is the same plant you're gonna get cocaine from although this is 100% legal in the US um, because it's not made into cocaine the leaves are just made into liquor so that's an interesting one and then I have you know my absence up here all of these absents have a, they do have the full dose of wormwood, they're actual real absent. and I know some of you are going to be like, well, it's illegal here. Actually, the 100 year ban expired, so if you want to go ahead and go to your liquor store and look for absinthe, you'll see that most of them now have that full dose of wormwood back in them, because it's, it's totally legal and it's, people are, you know, they want their, their freaking wormwood, that's what they want. So these are, you know, I, I could go on for forever. I have such weird, such, I have the weirdest liquor. I have like artichoke liqueur, which is Chinar, you know, all the way ranging from Fruit Loops vodka, and I even had peanut butter and jelly vodka. So I have, you know, the weird things all the way to the really cool things, to the sweet things, to the bitter things. These are all liquors stuff. Actually, Jake got me this for my birthday. This is really cool. This is vodka. This is all metal front and then the way you open it is with this little like hammer thing here. So that's really cool, you know, in the Skullhead vodka. And then there's the tequila one. So, you know, you, and you get into your mezcals and mezcal, some, some, you know, you've heard of the tequila worm. Well, mezcal doesn't usually have a worm. I don't know if you can see it. They have a scorpion. And yes, when you're done drinking, you are supposed to eat the scorpion. And um, I've eaten a worm, but I haven't tasted the scorpion yet. So when I get down to the bottom of that, I will, I will eat it. I will do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start doing some more uh, mixology stuff for you guys. And I have, 
you know, this is over 150 different brands of liquor that I have here. It's an awesome collection. Am I an alcoholic? No. As uh, even though a bunch of you are going to argue with me that I am, I'm not an alcoholic. I just, uh, I do love the science and the everything and the culinary art behind mixology. So, you know, actually in, in, when I lived at my last place, I probably had one drinking night a month and I wouldn't even get wasted. Usually I would just drink, you know, I end up making these drinks more and stuff like that to kind of show you guys and have shots and be interesting in this. I'm, I'm not, I was never typically a drinker. I do enjoy it. Um, I've worked as a bartender for years, um, doing it at a restaurant for catering company. Now I run my own bartending company. So if you guys are in LA, you could actually hire me and Jake works there too. And my friend Larry, you've seen him. He's a bartender as well. So we all do this. It's kind of like a, it's a fun thing, a fun side thing. I love it. I love creating new drinks. It's so, it's such an, uh, an awesome hobby. You know, I wouldn't recommend buying all this. It's, it's expensive, but this has been a long time collection. I didn't go out and buy all this, you know, sometimes a friend will give me a bottle as a gift or I'll go out and buy two new bottles. Or you guys have seen me buy a few, but I'm restocking cause I'm OCD like that. But I love it. And I hope that you guys will enjoy the, uh, future mixology stuff that I'll show you. I love it. It's interesting whether you're of age or not. I think you can still, you know, appreciate the cool, sometimes colors, concepts, tastes, everything. There's so many different elements to this. Okay guys, well, I pretty much ranted in that last little bit of the vlog. By last little bit, I'm bit I mean almost the whole vlog, pretty much the vlog. Anyway, I thought it was cool. Yeah, I wanted to, to get that out, get you tell you guys my favorites and kind of share that with you guys. Is that's definitely, you know, a fun part of uh, uh, my life and my my hobbies. So um, I wanted to show you guys that. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will come out with some cool mixology stuff to teach you guys some fun drinks to make. Uh, I'll even show you guys, I, you know, I love doing mixology stuff even with stuff that doesn't have liquor. I just love to mix all that. So if you guys don't drink or if you're under the drinking age, don't worry, I'll have stuff for you as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Goodbye. I'm gonna go do my audition at Nickelodeon and, and uh, hope it goes well.